Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2023, or 2022 year-end top tens as we are gonna look at my number, we are gonna look at my number um, three middleweight in the world right now, the WBC interim champion, Carlos Adames. Um, Adames entered the year at number nine and he shot up when he took on, um, when he, he only fought one time, he took on Juan Montiel in October. And he was coming off of probably his career best win in December of last year when he defeated um, uh, Sergey Derevinchenko by a close uh, split decision over 10 rounds. Um, so that really kind of put him on the map and he was lobbying for a showdown with Charlo, but it didn't come to uh, fruition. So he would fight for the interim title. He was actually hoping for Jaime Minguia too, and that didn't happen either. So he was uh, try he tried for the interim title against Juan Montiel, a guy who Charlo had fought in his last fight, I think in June of uh, 2021. Uh, Charlo fought Montiel and kind of got like a workmanlike decision. I mean, Charlo won convincingly, but he didn't knock him out, and, and uh, Montiel did push Charlo in that fight. So... Um, you know, heading into this one, Adamez wanted to make a statement, and he would. He went out there, and he fucking blasted, um, blasted, uh, uh, Montiel in three rounds, knocked him out, and captured the, um, captured the, uh, interim championship, and is now in line to fight for the title, but we don't know when or how that fight, uh, is gonna, is gonna happen for him and who it's gonna be against. Um, overall, he's only 28 years old, so he's still young. Um, overall, he's 22 and one with 17 knockouts. And um, I like Adamas. I, I've always thought Adamas had a had a, a fun, attractive style. And um, you know, he got he got uh, definitely got held up in that fight against Patrick Teixeira uh, a few years back, a couple years back. Um, uh, that you know kind of hurt him a little bit, derailed him. But he's bounced back, and at middleweight, he's a threat now. And um, I really believe he's he's on the verge of landing a title shot or becoming champion. Um, uh, it's just really we're waiting to see what Jamal Charlo is going to do. If Charlo is going to make his debut at 168, or if he's staying here at 160 and uh, to defend his belt. But I believe Adamez is either going to get his crack against Charlo this year, or he's going to be upgraded to full champion and then have to uh, fight you know somebody else. But I, to be honest, I, I can see Jermel Charlo moving up from 154 to 160 to fight him uh, for the title. I think Jermel could be like, hey, you're the champ now. I want to I want to uh, take my brother's belt, so I'm going to go after Adamas. So I really can see that. I think good things are coming for Carlos Adamas in 2023 uh, and, and good opportunities. I think he's going to get at least one of the Charlo brothers in the ring. Um, and if not, there's other options with the PBC. That's the thing. There are some decent options with the PBC. At the very worst, uh, a potential showdown a rematch with Sergey Davinchenko would be fun for the title. You know, their first fight was great. Now let's do it over 12 rounds for the WBC belt. I can see that going down. So, um, again, definitely going to be some opportunities. Adamez might be upgraded to champion. And, uh, you know, and he might get a, a crack at uh, Jamal. Charlo or be defending against Jermel Charlo. So we'll see what happens. But that's it. That's what I got. That's my number three middleweight in the world right now at 160 pounds. The WBC interim champion, Carlos Adamas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel as my 2022 year-end top tens continue. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.